I can remember Izzy sitting in my uh, living room 18, 24 months ago. She told me there was a family friend from Midland kept coming around and asking her on dates. They went on a date, actually. Adams kind of wore her down. And uh, Izzy, when we asked her about how the date went, Izzy's, uh, Izzy described it to my wife and I as altogether unspectacular. <laughs> then she ghosted him. Several months and a lot of life passed. Izzy had got together with some Tulsa friends and a thought popped into her head. I wonder what Adams is up to. When God puts something special in your life like that, you don't let it go easy. And after she called Adams and suggested they get back together, much to Adams' delight, the two have been inseparable from that point on. Our moms went in Lamaze when they were pregnant with us and we had either the same due date or very close to the same due date. We we're peas in a pod from the beginning. And then both of us were born early, which was the last time that Izzy has ever been early to anything. <laughs> Izzy, you're one of my oldest, dearest friends. I could not imagine my life without you. I can't wait to learn how to be a good partner and watch you guys grow in love. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, you're gorgeous. Thank uh, you. Your uh, shoes. Uh, I didn't know which way they go. Your, your heart's so pretty. Thank you. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be wonderful. Thank you. This wonderful. With you. Never in our wildest dreams would we have imagined that you would have been so ingrained in our family. And it's really special. I mean, you have been there for the birth of both of our kids. And we've gone from mentor to friends. And it's really special and something that rarely ever happens. So we feel incredibly blessed to be here. Love is wrong and love is right. So I've had the privilege of being friends with Adams for a little over seven years now. I and mean, I can still remember the first time we met. This guy was dressed in his go-to Midland casual of whitewash Wrangler jeans, boots, and a golf polo. So he naturally had to be a pretty cool guy. Typically after graduation, as our lives begin, some friendships unfortunately tend to, tend to drift apart, but our friendship exponentially increased. Even after I moved to Midland, Adams has continued to be a best friend, and this is just a clear indication of his strong commitment to those that matter the most to him. Now, 
by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and by the state of New Mexico, I proudly pronounce you Adams and you Izzy as husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put us under. Adams, you may kiss your bride. To you both, may the Lord richly bless and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Oh, it's my great pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Davenport. so special to have you here. It's so wonderful to look around the room and see all these friends and family smiling back at us. It really makes the event so much more meaningful. Thank you so much to the Detmerings, the Davenports, the Beals, everyone for hosting this amazing night. This is truly spectacular, so thank you to, to both families and Adams and Izzy for liking each other so that we could come here tonight. Mm -hmm.